Hello everyone, this is another video from Shomu's Biology. A lot of students ask me a question that how to remember second messengers and the name of second messengers. Because there are so many second messengers out there, there are so many proteins that are involved in the process of cell signaling. There are signaling molecules, there are signaling receptors, then there are second messengers. How can we remember all these components? It really becomes difficult to, to memorize. But with the help of one simple mnemonic with a single line mnemonic and an image, we can understand all five major second messengers that are in active role in our body. Okay, so let's see the mnemonic. Here the mnemonic is with a single sentence and the sentence is also drawn here in this picture. What you can notice, cat, a cat, a scary looking cat under dark condition that is under night or under dark, right? So we can say cats can be dangerous in night. Although uh, as per this sentence, the sentence must be cats can be dangerous at night, but we change it a little bit in order to fit with our mnemonic. Cats can be dangerous in night. So this cat is really dangerous in night. So based on this idea, you can see for this particular sentence, we have one alphabet. The alphabets which are capital letters are the ones will denote individual, are the ones that will denote the individual second messengers in our body. So we have C, C, D, I and N, five important second messengers in our body, where the C stands for calcium, the next C stands for cyclic AMP, the D stands for diacylglycerol or DAG, the I stands for IP3, inositol trisphosphate and N stands for NO or nitric oxide. These are the five very crucial major second messengers in our body five very major second messengers and these second messengers have different roles to play we are not going to talk about the roles of the second messengers but they play important role in the process of signal transduction pathway inside the cell and remember this second messengers why they are they called they are called second messengers is because the first messenger the first messenger what was the first messenger is the signaling molecule itself signaling molecule itself and when the signaling molecule binds to the receptor on the surface of the cell then after that binding that receptor gets altered in the cytosolic side of the cell that triggers the activation of further protein in the cell in the cytosol or the protein which is semi embedded to the inner leaflet of the cell membrane and then it triggers the activation of proteins inside the cell so second messengers are going to initiate they are going to initiate a signal transduction inside the cell inside the cell they they initiate the signal transduction inside the cell so from outside the signaling is through the signaling molecule but in the inside inside the cell that is created that is done by this signaling second messengers right so and these are the five important second messengers calcium cyclic amp diacylglycerol inositol trisphosphate and nitric oxide cats can be dangerous in night if you remember that if you imagine this image you are ready to go and you'll never forget this topic i believe this video helps you out understanding uh, the list uh, understanding uh, this concept and remembering and revising the topic very fast just before the exam these videos are going to be lifesaver just right before the exam revise with the help of this video and series of videos watch them in this channel and if you like the video please hit the like button share this video with your friends and colleagues subscribe to this channel to get more videos like that in future thank you bye